بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل لرن ود اعظم ٹو ڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ نیو سلیبس نیشنل بک فاؤنڈیشن فزکس ایس ایس سی ٹو یونٹ نمبر تھرٹین ان الیکٹرو اسٹیٹک ٹو ڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ ایس ایل او بیس According to FBIC requirement, numerical problems, question number 1 to 4, National Book Foundation in part 1, remaining in part 2. Now, we will discuss the question number 1, numerical problems, question number 1. Given statement, how many electrons are removed from a metallic surface? to get the 100 pico coulomb charge here given value is 100 pico coulomb charge so charge q is 100 pico now we can find the number of electron write the given data first of all write the known value so in given data we know that charge on one electron e is equal to 1.6 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb this value is known value so e is equal to 1.6 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb and charge that is equal to q is equal to 100 pico coulomb so 1 pico is equal to 10 raised to power minus 12 and 100 is 10 raised to power 2 so solve this value q is equal to 10 raised to power minus 10 coulomb now we can find that number of electron n is equal to question mark first of all write the formula we know that q is equal to n multiply by e number of electron multiply by charge on one electron so using this formula find the solution we know that n is equal to q upon e charge divided by charge of one electron so n is equal to 10 raised to power minus 12 10 divided by 1.6 multiply by 10 to the power minus 19 so solving this value number of electron n is equal to 0.625 multiply by 10 to the power 9 now we have the number of electron 6.25 multiply by 10 to the power 8 electron now in question number 2 according to the given statement 2 point charge 1 point 2 pico coulomb and 2 point 5 pico coulomb are separated by 50 cm distance find the magnitude of force between the two point charge here charges are given so first of all write the given data charge on one electron q1 is equal to 1.2 multiply by 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb because one pico is equal to 10 to the power minus 12 and charge on other electron or proton that is equal to q2 is equal to 2.5 multiply by 10 to the power minus 10 12 coulomb so 1 pico is equal to 10 to the power minus 12 so q2 is equal to 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb and also given that distance between electron and proton r is equal to 50 cm now 50 change into a meter here this value in a meter 0.5 meter not a centimeter so 
we will find also coulomb constant here coulomb constant a is equal to 9 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square so its value is a constant and k is equal to 9 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square to find that magnitude of electric force f e is equal to question mark using the formula we know that according to coulomb's law f e is equal to k q1 q2 upon r square is equal to putting the value of constant k 9 multiply by 10 to the power 9 multiply by 1.2 multiply by 10 to the power minus 12 multiply by q2 2.5 multiply by 10 to the power minus 12 divided by 0.5 whole square now calculate the magnitude of electric force fe is equal to 1.08 multiply by 10 to the power minus 13 newton now we have in question number 3 numerical problem question number 3 force of repulsion between the two identical point here identical point charges is 100 newton so force f is given when the distance between them is 40 cm and also distance between them is given what is the force of repulsion between the two charges if the distance is double now here next condition is given if the distance is double what will be the force between the charges now we can write the given data f e is equal to 100 newton according to the given condition two identical point charges so q is equal to q1 is equal to q2 now we have write that according to the condition distance will be double so r prime is equal to 2r then we have know that fe is equal to k q1 q2 over r square this implies that f prime so f prime e is equal to k q1 q2 over r prime square r prime according to the given condition distance will be double so putting the value of r prime is 2r then f prime is equal to k q1 q2 over 2r whole square square of 2 is 4 then k q1 q2 over 4 r square taking 1 by 4 common so f prime is equal to 1 upon 4 into k1 k q1 q2 over r square then f prime is equal to 1 upon 4 f of e so here we know that the magnitude of force when distance is double it will be 4 1 upon 4 time of f e now we can find that f prime so using the formula f prime is equal to 1 upon 4 of f e in solution putting the values we know that f prime e is equal to 1 upon 4 fe that is equal to 1 upon 4 into 100 newton so 100 divided by 4 this implies that f prime e magnitude of force is 25 newton when distance is double then force is 4 times 
fourth time then before the force is 40 cm when the force of magnitude is 100 newton when distance is 80 cm then force will be 25 newton so the answer of question number 3 f prime e is equal to 25 newton now we will solve the question number 4 numerical problem in question number 4 two identical charges are separated by 10 cm experience electrostatic force of 250 newton find the magnitude of charges here we can find the magnitude of charges first of all according to given data two identical charges so we write that given data fe is equal to 250 newton and according to the given condition two identical point charges so q is equal to q1 is equal to q2 both charges are same then according to this condition distance d is equal to 10 cm now we can change centimeter into meter then 10 divided by 100 r is equal to 0.1 meter we know that magnitude of electrostatic force fe is equal to a q1 q2 over r square here q1 and q2 are same then q multiply by q then force is equal to k q square over r square we can rearrange and find the value of q first of all write the formula electrostatic force is equal to k q1 q2 over r square and both charges are same then force is equal to k q square over r square this implies that we arrange this value here q square is equal to f e r square divided by k now we can use this formula q square is equal to f e multiply by r square divided by k now finding the solution we know that q square is equal to f e multiply by r square divided by k putting the values electrostatic force is equal to 250 so q square is equal to 250 multiply by 0.1 whole square divided by 9 multiply by 10 to the power 9 because k is a coulomb constant and its value is always constant 9 multiply by 10 to the power 9 so taking the values to find q square is equal to 0.28 multiply by 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb taking square root on both side this implies that q square whole square root is equal to 2.8 multiply by 10 to the power minus 9 whole square root then square square root are cancel so q is equal to 1. 67 multiply by 10 to the power minus 5 coulomb for next video subscribe our channel and like our video best of luck take care allah